Hello. I am glad to welcome you to the second part of the tutorial video on building an apartment plan drawing. Today we will add hatch, text, dimensions, and find out how to plot the finished drawing. Now let's get started. First we have to set up the doors. Let's start with the front door. To do this, use the mirror objects command on the home tab. Select the object, press enter, specify the point of mirror line, and do the left mouse click. Let's move the door to the entrance. Rotate it using the rotate command. Now we have an entrance. Let's set up interior doors. Use the move copy command and place them near the right place. We'll start with bathroom. The rotate command to turn. The move command to drag it. Repeat these steps with the bedroom door. Before repeating this one more time, the door to the loggia must first be mirrored. Here a wall blocks the way. Let's make a passage. Switch to the wall layer. Use the line tool to mark the boundaries. To remove the wall, use the smart trim tool. There should be no walls in the doorways either. Let's remove them too. Much better. We need to put up windows. Use the move copy and move tools. From the file that you can download from the link in the description, copy furniture, or you can draw it to your taste. How to draw furniture. Let's look at the example of a bed. Let's draw a rectangle measuring 1500 by 2100. Now we have the base of the bed. Let's draw a blanket. We use the line tool. Step back from the headboard 450 millimeters and draw a line. It remains to draw pillows. Again, we draw a rectangle measuring 700 by 385 with an indentation of 25 millimeters. We repeat on the other side. It looks a little empty. Let's fold the blanket a little bit. To do this, use the three point arc tool. We step back 910 millimeters and put a point. We repeat the same thing, but now we put the dots ourselves. It's much better now. It remains to smooth out the corners using the fillet tool. I put a radius of 50 and round off the corners of the pillows. I use the tool again to round the corners of the bed itself, but now I'm setting the radius to 25. The bed is ready. It remains to create a block that you can use later in this document. You already know how to create blocks. This way you can draw anything you want. We have to arrange the furniture. Let's start.
When we have finished arranging the furniture, we will put hatching on the walls. To do this, switch to the hatch layer and click on the add hatch icon on the home or draw tab. I will change the swatch to distinguish between the inner and outer walls. Also the scale, so the hatching can be seen better. Click Add Pick Points and select all of the parts of the outer wall. Press Enter. Repeat these steps with the inner walls. Let's move on to the next part of our video, text inserts. Switch to the text layer. On the Annotate tab, in the text group, you can change the font settings by expanding the menu. There are multi and single line texts. Let's change the symbol scale to 1 to 50 so the text is not too small. Click on text icon, then multi-line text, and place it. The text will be large, so we'll change the height to 175. Type bedroom. Use the move copy command and create the required number of texts. Edit and change the text. Now switch to the Dimensions layer. Click on the Annotate tab, expand the Dimensions group and click Modify. In the Open dialog box, go to the Symbols and Arrows tab and select Architectural Tick. The Fit tab, enter a scale dimension features of 5. And Primary Units, we set the precision to 0. Close a window. Set the dimensions. Blue is poorly visible on a dark background, so we will change the color to cyan. It looks great. It remains to transfer this drawing to the sheet space. Go to the tab of the format you need. Mine is a 3. Right-click on the project's name and choose Viewport. You can put the canvas as you like, closer, to the left and so on. Double-click on the sheet to edit it. We don't need it here, so I delete it. After you have finished editing, go to the Output tab and click Plot. The Print Settings dialog box will appear. Here you can select the options you need. For instance, plot your style table. Mine is monochrome. Press Plot and save the file. Now we have a ready-made drawing for printing. I hope you found these videos helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching.